I'm Neil Armstrong from JMW Solicitors, head of the construction team in Manchester. Um, I think it's a, a contrasting market currently. I think there's um, obviously difficulties in the sector with inflation, in interest rates, the economy, um, the election coming, Building Safety Act is having a big impact. I think on site currently, according to the Deloitte Crane survey, there's 61 projects currently on site in Manchester, over 11,000 homes, I think 2,000 student beds currently on site. Um, and if you contrast that with 2014, there were 23 projects on site in 2014, which was a couple of years out from the recession. So I think it's a very mixed market with lots of things happening, but um, at the same time, lots of challenges. Um, I think the ongoing uncertainties around pricing um, and, and interest rates and inflation and the risk of insolvency for contractors and subcontractors currently. Um, and, but I think the biggest single change is probably the Building Safety Act. Um, it's going to have significant changes across the whole sector from how you run projects to also how you procure projects. One of the things that we're seeing is that people are looking at moving away from design and build procurement and looking at other options to see what's, what they can do and see if they can use something a bit more in innovative in order to sort of deal with some of the things that are coming from the Building Safety Act. It's not holding projects up at the moment, I'm not seeing, but it is um, having a, an impact on who's, who's taking the risks for various things at the moment. Um, the Building Safety Act obviously passes a lot of risks onto developers and contractors. Um, and currently we're, we're, I'm spending a lot of time in my job looking at how we deal with those and who's the best person to, to manage those risks, whether it's the contractor or the developer. I think the new requirements for the approvals is going to be a significant change um, with the Gateways 2 and Gateways 3 coming under the Act. They um, are likely to cause delays in starting projects and, and completing them. I think there's also the change process that comes in through the Building Safety Act also is likely to cause delays to projects as they go along. Um, on the other side, there's still lots of issues with buildings that need to be resolved and the accountability for them. I think we're going to see a lot more in that space where people are being pursued um, for old projects where they've got to ret now ret retrospectively put them right um, and also there's going to be an impact from the courts. We're going to see more claims in the courts I think against people in respect of resolving these problems. I think a lot of, there's a lot of buildings that, are, that still need to be repaired. The key point about the Building Safety Act I suppose is that it is there to um, make buildings safer for people to live in ultimately.